Hey everyone, welcome back to The Sims, I'm Dark Myron. today we're going to be continuing our detective career. Our, our Sim is currently sleeping, it is uh, the middle of the night, so hopefully he'll wake up shortly, we'll get uh, ready for our second day on the job, and we can hopefully start solving some crimes. Uh, yesterday, we got somebody wanting to come and ha come over and hang out at 3 o'clock in the morning, no, go away. So yeah, yesterday we uh, had our first day on the job, um, basically learnt the ropes, didn't get to actually solve any crimes ourselves, but hopefully today we'll get our first case and can start uh, being our detective. Oops, we need to go back into fast forward mode again, finish sleeping. So, yeah, we have some gnomes in our apartment fixing things that were broken, I don't think we had anything broken, so... Oh, and we've woken up an hour before work. Beautiful. So hopefully we'll have enough time for a quick breakfast. Scrambled eggs. Be off to our, our second day as a detective in the sim world. Hopefully we've got the uh, microphone issues sorted out. I know in the last episode it was uh, cutting in and out a little bit. Oh, we've now learnt uh, eggs and toast, BLT, chips and salsa, and fish tacos. Awesome. So as you level up, you gain, uh, or at least in cooking, you gain more recipes and things that you can cook. And we want to join him on his second day. Off we go. Yeah, I think the other skills have uh, different things that they unlock as well as you go through. So always good to try and uh, level up your skills as you're able to. Alright, training day to train harder. So there's still a bit more to learn before we get our own case. That's a bit annoying. I was hoping we'd get our, our first case today. We have to go out into the community and start building our reputation as a friendly protector or hardened authority figure. And after that, we'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Awesome. So we need to go on patrol. I think we have to click on our... How do we actually go on patrol, I wonder? Let's find out. Maybe the map? There we go, the map. Go on patrol. Bit of an annoying double loading screen there, but not really much we can do about that, sadly. Okay. So we're, when we're on patrol, we can get to know the community and help troll, keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. And if we see anyone littering or fighting, we could give them a citation. And we've apparently... Uh, pause it for a moment so we can clear these notifications. Discover that the suspect has grey hair. And they are a male. So we're looking for a grey-haired male, I guess, from the um, uh, case that we were investigating for the senior detective. Not sure how we're meant to patrol an apartment building. That seems a little bit tricky, but maybe we can go downstairs. Yes, excellent. So we can patrol out on the streets. Not sure why it put us up there on the top floor. We will uh, go out on patrol, patrol our beat. We've got a nice little park here. Can't see any civilians out and about just yet, but it is still morning. It's still early in the morning, 8.30, so... Sure, as the day goes on, we'll see some people. Where? There's somebody. Let's uh, talk to them. Pull them over and have a chat. I'm not sure who this is that we're having an angry discussion with when there's no one else around other than this lady. Not even going to call her over. So we might need to go over to her and say hello, introduce ourselves as the new policeman out on the beat. Someone there, we might have a better chance of getting to them. No, they're walking off as well. Hmm. Oh, we just missed somebody. Oh, well. This person's coming towards us, so hopefully we can uh, intercept them and have a quick chat. We'll be friendly. Try and be a nice police officer, at least to start with. Yes, to me. Abbasani. Just messed up the camera a little bit there. Here we go. Hey, Swarsh Latuni. Squire Borbahe. Biru Skansis. Stumsy Turup. Grinia Hislop. Plenis Yesu. Ah, Charlie Bragg. 
Janib Shrafa, Vabose Spilurf, Mwashu Paza, Levko. Have a look around so we can see what other people are doing, make sure no one's littering. Or are fighting. Why is the camera going so weirdly here, I wonder? Oh, we've got another civilian coming over and chatting with us, that's good. So we've ticked off our chat with civilians, our goal. Now we just need to find someone doing the wrong thing and give them a citation for it. So we might go back to this uh, sort of fly camera mode and have a look around at what other people are doing in the park. Maybe we'll go for a stroll through the park as well. Oh, we've apparently got a uh, festival going on in town. Let's have a look. Okay, so unfortunately we can't really do that because we're <laughs> meant to be in the middle of um, our job. So we might get in some trouble if we uh, go off the job. Hopefully we get a chance to look at that though in, the in a uh, future episode. Let's speed things up a little bit. So I'm guessing there's not going to be much to do till we spot somebody fighting or uh, littering. So far doesn't seem to be happening. Everyone is doing the right thing, which is a bit tricky for us. I mean, it's what we want as a police officer, but doesn't help us tick off our goals. Don't know that we can go anywhere else to patrol. Just have to patrol here. Come on, someone start a fight or something. These guys might be, they're having an angry uh, conversation. Oh no, no, it's a funny conversation. This lady's a bit angry, but she's got a cup. Let's see if she's going to litter. Ooh, we just got a mischief skill. Interesting, not sure how we got that, but... Fair enough. Watching these two to see if they litter. We've got someone angry stalking through the... F park here. Hopefully they're not going to start a fight. Doesn't look like these guys are going to litter at all. wonder if we can just give someone a citation for no reason. That'd be pretty funny. Not sure that that's entirely legal. Well, we can. We can give her a citation for nothing. <laughs> Let's be a uh, bit of a corrupt police officer, I guess. In fact, no. Let's not give her a citation. Let's at least make it somewhat legit and give... We can't give this guy a uh, citation yet. Look, introduce ourselves. Then give him a citation for uh, graffitiing the um, sidewalk there. Our uh, needs are getting down a little bit. I'm not sure if we can actually... Fix that easily while we're on patrol. So now that we know you, can we... Oh, so maybe there is actually a reason to give her a citation. Oh, here we go, here we go. We've got a fight on our hands. Give them... No. No. Sometimes you've got to pause it to actually be able to do what you want to do. There we go. If her citation and her citation, they're both going to get a ticket. And excellent, we get to go back to the police station. We can uh, go to the toilet, have some lunch, I guess. It is lunchtime. Okay, so we have enough clues now to issue an all points bulletin. While we have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues we find and process, the more specific it becomes. If we've got a detailed description of the perp, we can, uh, we'll be less likely to arrest an innocent party who shares a few similarities with them. So, we did have some evidence. I think we can probably process some more evidence and hopefully get some more details. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that got cleared out from yesterday. Well, we want to go upstairs and have some lunch first anyway. Is there a bathroom upstairs? No, we have to then go back downstairs to use the bathroom. A little bit annoying, but not much we can do about that. So 
to close up mode so we can see our sim in action. <laughs> Out a little bit so we can see his head. <laughs> yeah, I know you need to go to the toilet, that's why we're doing that after we eat. Otherwise, we have to take two trips anyway. Apparently, we're feeling a bit flirty. We must uh, like this co worker of ours. So, I'm not entirely sure how we do the All Points Bulletin. Probably through the computer, I would guess. Ooh, wait a minute, we need to extend our work day. Have enough time to finish everything before our day is over. Patrol. Ooh, there was a more choices option. I don't have anything there. Maybe it's through... Yeah, through the map. That seems a bit odd to me, but... Apparently that's what we've got to do. Alright. Whatever that is, go downstairs and issue the all points bulletin already. So, any men with uh, grey hair? Oh, guess we're off to uh, find the suspect now. Hopefully, we get the uh, the actual proper one, not some poor innocent. Suspect fitting the description has been spotted in this area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you towards the suspect, and we can use our notebook to review the description. And if we arrest the wrong person, it won't look good in our, our record. Yeah, no, no doubt it will not. So, let's ask them about the suspect. They're not uh, a male, and don't have grey hair, so not them. Oh, it is a male. Oops. Oops. Looks like he was pointing upstairs or that way. I uh, can't see anyone out there. Who have we got upstairs? Nobody. Interesting. Ask some more people. Unless it's this person right there. There's a male with grey hair, and there's another male with grey hair, I think. Where is our damn sim gone? Get downstairs and do your job! Where's our notebook? It's probably going to be under us. I don't know where it is. They're pointing that way. I reckon it's going to be this guy here. That's that's black hair. So we're gonna arrest this guy. I think it's him. Could be the wrong person, but I'm gonna uh. Arrest him and hope, basically. <laughs> right, so now that we've learnt how... learn about work out in the world, we should know there's plenty to do around the station as well. 
We can run the criminals through the booking station, take crime reports, and get to know our co-workers. We can also use the gym upstairs, or browse the uh, database on a computer to bolster our knowledge of the criminal mind. So we need to... We've got a few things we can do here to um, basically finish off our day. Our day is almost over. We've got about 20 minutes, so... Not too sure what we can really do in that time. Uh, I guess we will browse the police database. That will work. If we can get downstairs in time, we're probably going to not actually get a chance to. It's going to wrap up our day there. And we earned another $198, which is great. Would be good to get a promotion, but I think we've got um, probably a couple more days worth of uh, shift to go through first. We apparently did some superb work. Excellent. And the maid has cleaned our apartment. Lovely. Now we are a geek character, so we are going to play some computer games to get that fun back up. Play some more Simception. Why not? I like how the maid has cleaned our apartment up, but uh, the remains of breakfast are still there. That uh, seems... Seems like the maid is not quite doing her job properly. Let's see, how are we tracking on our job? Our uh, work uh, performance is excellent, which is great. We just have to basically keep going through our uh, stuff and possibly try and get into the focused mood before we go to work. Let's see, the best ways to improve performance, going to work with a positive emotion, Completing the daily tasks and maintaining high relationships with our co-workers. So we do need to socialize with them a bit more, I think, uh, in future shifts. Slowly getting his fun back up. We will see out the rest of the evening, I think, uh, before we wrap this one up. Not that there's much to do, we'll put it in fast forward mode, get it done a bit quicker. Should probably uh, get ready to have some dinner as well, Let's see what we can have for dinner. Uh, fish tacos sound a bit dodgy to me, but why not, let's have it. What could possibly go wrong? Should clean up that uh, mess as well. Full fast forward mode. See, so he's nearly got another level of video game skill. Not sure if that uh, increases the games that we can choose from. Ooh, why are we angry? What's going on? Noisy neighbors again. Last night they weren't noisy, but the night before they were. We're now level three video game skill. We'll endure it while we're having dinner, but then we're going to go and uh, tell them to quieten down. It is getting quite late in the evening. And it seems to be a bit of a pattern forming here with our, our neighbours. First time they've been noisy. Yeah, now stomping around the apartment quite angrily. <laughs> I do love the little gibberish uh, comments that the Sims make. When you're close enough to hear their uh, commentary. Almost like their own secret language. It's like they have actually quietened down. So as our sim finishes dinner, you know, that is probably going to wrap up this uh, second day episode of The Sims 4. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button down below. And I will see you on the next one very soon. Till then, have a good one. And we may as well finish it out by going to bed.